Hello everyone. So this is technically a 10 second tutorial, but I can't monetize that. So instead I'm going to try and make it like five minutes. So what we're going to see in this one is how to render out uh, your footage or your effects from the COP network. So what I have here is uh, like I've used this scene before. So I just have this ball and flippy sort of falling down. Okay. It's like a vellum sim. And I have already built a, a cop net for it. So I can just show it to you. So this is the final result of my cop net. Uh, where is it? So let's render this and I can turn on. There you go. So this is my final result okay, of it just falling down. So what I have is I have, uh, let me come to the composite view. So I have a bunch of passes in here. So I have my diffuse and specular and the you know the main color and the normals okay so i'm using the diffuse to generate my basic color and then i have my specular okay which i am adding together uh, if you want to see if you want to know how to do this i already have an existing video on how to do like tune shading so this is the exact same thing and then uh, i'm using the alpha channel to sort of blend it together with like a background and then lastly, I'm using the uh, edge detect from normals to generate outlines. Okay. And then that sort of feeds into this. So this is my final result. Okay. Now what we, what, what I want to do is I want to render out this footage and then apply all of this to my rendered footage because like you can render out slap comp as well, but uh, like firstly, I haven't been able to figure out how to do that. I'm facing some issues. Uh, with that but also like let's say if you want to combine two three different footages that you have rendered so let's say so like in this case i have my basic render let me come back to the scene view okay but what i also have is i i generated some outlines at sop level okay which is uh, if you want to see how to do that i have i have a training on my website uh, which i'll put a link below so i have a training on uh, how to do toon shading at sop level so this is using that technique. So you're just generating an outline. The advantage of generating an outline at SOP level is that I can sweep it and I can give it random thickness. I can do a whole bunch of things with it. So what I want to do is I want to have this basic render and then I want to sort of add those outlines on top of it. So what I have here as a setup is uh, I have like two different setups. So I have like one, which is all of this stuff, uh, which is flippy and a base you know, and I've imported the camera. Okay. And then that has a simple material and a distant light. So which is this, and then I have another, which is just branching it out, which is the same, but with the outline. So these are my outlines. And then that just has a simple, like everything else is black and this is white. So the first question that comes up is that how do you render, you know, two different setups together? So the way is actually pretty simple, right? So I've given them names. So I have, uh, so I've given like, so this is outlines and this is, uh, this is just main. Okay. And it's going to render at, uh, like 800 by 720. Okay. The second thing is I need to specify the frame range. So I'm just going to select both of these and I want to render from 12 to let's say 48. Okay. So I'm going to type in here. So this is going to go from 12 to 48. And uh, the only thing you want to do is just, uh, I don't know if this is important or not, but uh, what you want to do is just like, this is called uh, render settings, right? So this is render settings, it's render slash render settings. And you'll see like that is what it brings in, in here. So with the other one, I just renamed it to render settings B. So this is, otherwise like, I don't want a clash happening, right? So each one gets a different name. Okay, now the, the simple thing that you have to do is just select both of them once you set up your frame duration and everything, and I'll just save this file and just hit render to disk and it will automatically render both of them. The other thing you also want to do is just make sure that you turn on render all frames uh, with a single process. Otherwise what happens is it sort of like, it slows down a lot. I don't ex understand the exact reason. It's something to do with like writing a USD file every single time. But uh, if you turn, if you turn that on, it just renders everything together and it's a lot faster. Okay. So there you go. So it just, it's rendering everything and then it will, uh, you know, it saves it out to disk. So it's now rendering the first one and then it will render the second one. So there you go. So it finished rendering the first one 
and now it's rendering the second one. So this is like the dissolve, this is the outline. So it first renders it out and then it, just, it takes a little bit of time just to save it to disk. Okay, so what it's doing now is just saving everything out to disk. So this is the simplest way to render out multiple, you know, like USD ROPs. You can also do it through the ROP network. Like you can, you can take an output network and then you have a USD ROP option in there and you can take that and put it into a merge node and render it. But this is also, you know, perfectly fine. Okay, so once we've done this, our rendering is done. Now all I have to do is come in here to the copnet and we'll come to composite view. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in both my files. So just type in file and I can just pick up uh, both these things. So it should be somewhere here. Yeah, so render and there you go. So I have main, which is this. See, so you can like, you know, load this up. And I have, uh, so let's just call this main. And we want to bring in all the passes that we had. So just click here, add AOV files, add AOV from files and it'll just, you know, load up everything, which is fine, which is perfect. And then we also want to bring in the outline. So I'll pick up another one. We'll call this outlines and just load this up. And this is just, you know, the outlines. This one actually, uh, it doesn't need to be RGB. It can just be RGB, which is perfectly fine because it's just a, you know, black and white footage. Okay, so now all I have to do is just take all of this and, you know, duplicate it. So I can just take all of this and do control C, control V. And I'm going to disconnect, you know, all of that. And what I did was I put in like these nulls with names. So I know what needs to be connected where. So I just have all of this. Let's bring it down. So the combined diffuse goes in there and the reflection comes in here. And this is just the, you know, the beauty pass and the normals go in there. So if everything has been done, okay. If I come to my final result, see, there you go. Okay, we have our final render. And then I just want to combine uh, this with the outline. So I can just bring that here. And let's say if I just take an add node and I plug this in and I plug that in. So we have our outlines on top of it, but I think add, I, I want to multiply it. So let's do multiply and we'll put an invert in here. There you go. So now we have like, you know, proper outlines on top of this, which like without this is fine. You know, it's, it's a little thin since these are actual geometry outlines, they will give you a much better result. And then I just want to render this out. So the simplest thing is I'll just take a null and I'll plug this in. Let's call it C. And then take, uh, just type in ROP. So you'll get like a ROP image output and it needs the cop pass. So just take this and drag it in there. So there you go. So you'll see like an arrow connecting into it. And we want to render frame range. It was 12 to 48. So that's what we'll render. So I'll do delete channel. This is from 12 to 48. And it will look for passes. So we'll just say uh, the passes is like C, which is what we had. And yeah, I think let's keep it to automatic. That is okay. So we don't need to render anything else. So I can just take this now and hit render to disk and it should be fine. I'll just, let's try to do render to end play. So we'll be able to play it back. And there you go. That's your final result. So yeah, you can like render to disk and it'll save it out or you can actually save it from here as well. You can right click here and you can say save sequence and it'll save it for you. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this is how you can sort of, you know, render out your footage and then or render out like multiple uh, different sequences and combine them together with, you know, whatever basic effect you've generated using your slab comp and get a final result.